Well, I think it's time I can jump in front of the camera and show you guys one of my new Christmas presents this year. This is the Piper Cherokee with a 1.3 meter wingspan. As you can see, that's a good size wing. And the fuselage is a nice length, nice and scale. I mean, let's just stop and take a second and appreciate how awesome this thing looks. Down to the pilot, inside the canopy, even the dash has some control stickers on there that really make it look good. I love the fact that this has a little spring-loaded latch to pull the entire canopy out. If you get the bind and fly, your receiver is already installed and all you have to do is bind it up to your Spectrum radio. I'll have my favorite budget Spectrum radio linked in the description box below and my favorite batteries that work perfectly for this plane. In today's video, we're gonna do a maiden flight of this beauty. We've got a brushless setup, a 50 amp ESC, and believe it or not, this can fly on 3S and or 4S packs. Man, I love when they do that. They give you the option. Fly tame if you want to while you're learning to fly with safe turned on, which is what we're gonna do today. And then in a future video, maybe tomorrow's video, I don't know, very, very soon, as long as the maiden goes well, We'll turn safe off, we'll slap 4S packs in there and have a great time. Now, my favorite thing about this plane are the navigation lights. We even have landing lights, nav lights, we've got a light up on the tail, here on the wing tips, uh, right on the tip itself, and on the front corner. I mean, it's covered in lights. You know, I was really excited to pick this up, yes, for myself, but primarily to be shared on the channel. And when I did pick it out, I thought that this would be something that we'd show up on the channel to you guys for a bit, and then maybe it would be one that I kind of passed on so that I could take the funds from this and buy another plane for the channel. Let's face it, with all the planes that we have on our channel, we simply can't keep them all. We'd have to have a giant warehouse to do that. We have an RC garage. so. After I started putting this together, which took about 20 minutes, I thought, I thought, man, this is just a beautiful plane. It was very easy to put together, and I'm just so impressed with it. I believe it's probably gonna stay in my collection as long as the flights go well, and I might pass on another plane so that this can take its place, which doesn't happen very often. I have some favorite planes in the lineup. One thing, too, that I like is the entire rear elevator here is the whole surface moves, which is pretty rare uh, to see on RCs, but it's true to scale, the whole surface moves. So that's a lot of fun. Guys, this is already bound up. I'm ready to fly with safe on, just to show you how nice and docile it can fly. I'm assuming it'll do great. I'm just excited to fly. Let's put some packs through this, have a good time. I think I'm actually gonna try to taxi this out just because it looks so good in scale. Normally I just blast these and take off. But look at the lights on here. The front wheel also has a bit of a spring in there, a little bit of a shock, so it makes it taxi a little smoother on a grass uh, runway like ours. I'm just gonna go ahead and spin around and take off nose into the wind. You ready, Abby? Yep. There we go, we're up. <laughs> what a good looking plane, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep it at about 60% throttle right now, maybe close to 50% and just get a feel for how she likes to fly. Those nav lights look so good. Oh, yeah, this is a cool, kind of a slow flyer. But again, we're on a 3S pack and this can handle three or 4S. Look at those beautiful lights, wow. Now I will say that I actually have safe turned off, okay, when I bound this up, I thought I bound it to safe on, but it's clearly off. So we're just gonna leave it off. I, I don't really need safe. Um, uh, we talk about safe in a lot of our videos, and this is just one that I'm, I'm gonna leave it off. I could have taken a little bit more time to turn it on, but I'm happy how it's flying, so 
no worries there. Safe is great for new pilots. I'm just really in love with how this thing looks. I, I, I didn't know I'd like it this much until I got it in person. And in person, it's awesome. Oh, it's awesome. Okay, so we're just cruising. Haven't even touched trim. I feel like I need a touch of up. So I'm just gonna give it that so that it'll fly a little smoother when my hand is off the right stick. There we go. But I'm also flying at really low throttle too. So I'm gonna pick up that speed on this pass. You ready, Abby? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh yeah, there's full full throttle. That's quick. That's really booking it on 3S, uh, 3S pack. That's really nice. I'm kind of wondering why you'd even need 4S on this, but we'll find out in a future video. Here's full throttle. That is sweet. Wow. <laughs> you're really showing off the wings when you're flying it, aren't you? Yeah. Usually well, you don't bank this much while you pass. You know what? It looks good. I mean, we can bank it and use that rudder and show it off. Oh, yeah, let's, let's just keep going around here. <laughs> <laughs> can I do a low pass, Abby? I know it's a little harder on the camera, but I just want to do a nice slow. Oh, you know what? I didn't even touch the flaps on any of that. What am I thinking? This also has flaps, you guys, and there's full flaps flying nice and slow by. I'm gonna, um, let's raise the flaps and let's actually do a landing with the flaps on here when we come back around. And then I'll do another takeoff with flaps on because can't even, I, I don't know why I didn't turn those on for the first takeoff. So you're landing? I'm gonna land, yeah. Just So there's flaps. full flaps and I'm at zero throttle. I'm sure I'm gonna have to pick up some throttle because of the wind. wind, but look at the lights. The lights really make this plane come to life. I mean, that is awesome. Look how slow we can get it to fly here. Now, I don't wanna stall, so let's just go ahead and bring it in and we'll flare. Okay, little rough. I could have had a little more speed there, but the, that was full flaps and I just cut the throttle a little too soon. I'm ready to blast for takeoff. You ready, Abby? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Full flaps and we're in the air really quick. Flaps are back up, and we're just cruising. This is a beautiful plane, uh, just a really scale head turner. I, uh, I kind of wish there were some club members up here today because I guarantee they'd be like, whoa, that's awesome, where'd you get that? <laughs> it's just not a very talked about plane. I don't know why. It went together in maybe 20 minutes. I had to step away a few times to help Amelia and uh, get her a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's hard to track my exact time, but it was very, very simple. So we no, picked this up on sale. We on did. On Horizons. It wasn't Black Friday. It was yeah. like 12 days of Christmas I want to do sale. a roll. You ready? Nice roll. That was fun. Yeah, fun for such a, like a Big fast plane. scale plane. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do a loop with this too. Let's go out over Death Valley and do a nice big loop. Here we go. Full throttle. Pull back. Oh, little, little crooked because of the wind. Kind of knocked me crooked, but that was nice. Uh, but go ahead with what you were saying, the sale, Abby. It was just their 12 days of Christmas sale. We got a really good deal on I it. I think we saved like 30 bucks or 40 bucks or yeah. something. Really a steal. And uh, even at the price that it is now, now that I see it in person, have it in person, the size of it, the scale of it, it is just a sweet plane. And I love the lights. Now I'm gonna say, come on E-Flight, slap some lights on every one of your planes <laughs> because at this price, to have so many lights on here, it just looks really good. You didn't have to do anything. The wings just plug into the fuselage and that's how you get power to the lights. And you got this bind and fly. Bind and fly, yep. Yeah. And I, you know what? You just, if you're gonna buy an E-Flight plane, in my opinion, it's just worth the extra 20 or 30 bucks for the bind and fly well, because then of how you know, easy it then is. Then you have to have a Spectrum. You do have to have a Spectrum in that case. <laughs> Root and, transmitter. Uh, yes, uh, radio. And uh, I, I have a five minute timer on, so I think that's perfect flight for my little 3S 2200. Why is she using LiPo alarms? You know, I don't know. I, I brought one with me. Lazy? I'll do that. Being I'm, no, lazy? Not, no, not laziness. I just... <laughs> I should have put one in here. I'm always <laughs> afraid they might go off a little bit too soon. This is full flaps on guys, even with the wind here, it's just beautiful. Um, I'll put one in on my 4S flight for you guys in a future video, but this is just a nice simple maiden. I wanted to keep everything nice and easy. I'll start using the LiPo alarms. Okay, here we go. There's zero throttle. Now I actually want to come in at about 10% throttle to help me Keep moving, that way I don't stall. And, oh yeah, that was much better. <laughs> oh, what a sweet plane. I really like how this looks Look and lights. flies. It is nice. I like okay. the lights. Very cool. 
Well, even though safe was off for that flight, and at first I intended it to be on, we still had AS3X flight stabilization. What that does is, just listen for a second. You can kind of hear those servos working a bit. If I get a gust of wind that boom, pushes me a little bit, uh, they will kind of help smoothen that out some. Not perfect, of course, but it really helps the plane fly more true to scale. I just love it. This is a beautiful plane, an absolute head turner. I love the white and red. I think they kept it very nice and true to scale down to the little rivets along the fuselage. It really does look great. There are just so many things to look at on this and even functionality. You know, we've got our shock absorbing front landing gear here too. I really like this plane. As I said, it was very easy and quick to put together and just a head turner in the air and on the ground. You have this setting out in your lineup of planes to fly for the day and this will always be a talking piece because I just don't see this plane at airfields very often. It wasn't really a plane for me to get super excited about until I saw it on sale and that's the main reason I pulled the trigger on it and boy am I glad I did because this is going to stay in my collection until the day it falls out of the sky. <laughs> they all have an expiration date but this one just is going to look amazing until it does do that. Well, this is just an awesome plane, guys. I'll have it linked in the description box below. I personally like the bind and fly setup just because it's so much easier to get it in the air and you got the nice AS3X already ready. Literally all I had to do was reverse my flap switch because I like it to be reversed the way all my switches are up when it's in the air. We'll link my favorite transmitter to be paired with this. Their budget option works just fine. It's a six channel transmitter and you don't even need all the trans, you don't need all the uh, channels on there. But I suppose if you wanted to turn your lights on and off, you probably could assign it to an additional switch. Also our favorite batteries will be linked in the description box below. And Abby was talking about those LiPo alarms. They're very useful. Most of the time I don't fly without one. I don't know, I guess I was just excited to get this in the air. We'll have our LiPo alarms linked in the description box below too. Before uh, you end the video, you need to do something to that plane. Oh yeah, so for every successful flight that our airplanes do, we're gonna slap on an RC Sailor sticker. So let's give this plane a very well-deserved RC Sailor sticker. If you wanna get some of your own, we'll have them linked in the description box below too on our Patreon page. The beautiful thing about Patreon is they don't take hardly any of the money, just a small, small percentage percentage for the service that they provide and most of the money goes to us even more than like PayPal I know some people like to donate through PayPal well PayPal takes more than what patreon does so if you want to support us and get some sweet RC sailor stickers we'll have our patreon page linked in the description box below that is 100% the best way to say thanks for our videos or you can just like the video subscribe and turn on the notification bell okay before we go let's put a sticker on and then you guys be sure to subscribe if you want to see this flying on 4s well abby and i decided since we're going to be flying on 4s in the next video it's going to need a power patch to help handle that additional voltage and we all know that these do provide cool points but when you slap on a power patch close to the motor the fontonium around this in the world amplifies and you can get at least two miles an hour faster not really disclaimer it's just for fun but uh the power patch is there which means we're gonna have a lot of fun with our 4s pack in the next flight guys thanks a lot for watching we'll see you in the next video bye